Well, with SLRs growing in popularity day by day, lenses are becoming a bigger issue for a lot of photographers. I'm here with Rob Moody, a national technical manager for Tamron, and he's going to show us a couple of their more recent models. Well, Rob, what do you got to show us? Uh, basically, we have the 18 to 270, which is the world's first 15 times zoom lens. Uh, this will shoot wide angle. Uh, so you got a good wide angle with that, you have good telephoto with that, and then this will also shoot macro at approximately 20 inches from your eye. So it truly is an all-in-one lens. Uh, it does come with the hood included in the price, and we have a six-year warranty that's included as well. So we have a lot years. of wow. six years longest in the warranty. We have a lot of confidence in the product, and so we feel good giving consumers a six-year warranty on it. And that's every lens of ours. And we were talking before a little bit too about um, Tamron's um, image stabilization technology is, is a little bit different, your vibration compensation right. than what some of the other manufacturers do. Yes, our vibration compensation mechanism uses three coils instead of two. It actually doesn't have to process the information to triangulate the third or the diagonal movement. Hmm. It will take care of that with the third coil by itself. And as you saw when you were using the camera, it locks right onto subject. You don't get a floating effect like you do with some of the other image stabilization mechanisms that are in in the industry, so it's real clean. It does lock on. It holds still for you very well. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. Using a lot of uh, stabilized lenses, it doesn't actually, uh, it, it doesn't vibrate. It doesn't jiggle, but it kind of wanders around a little bit. Exactly, and this holds still for you, and it perfectly locks on the first thing that you lock onto, and doesn't have that drifting effect that you just spoke about. Great. Okay, and I have a wide angle zoom here too. We sure do. The 10 to 24. Uh, over the last few years, with the smaller sensors, the APS uh, C size sensors in cameras, uh, there's been a lot of demand for wide angle it's been very hard to achieve at that and so we we listened we came out with the 10 to 24 uh, lens so basically on like a, a Nikon it's gonna be a 15 on Canon it's gonna be a 16 to start so it will be the widest angle lens available in the industry this year that's in a zoom lens like this and then at 499 it's certainly gonna be one of the best priced uh, opportunities in wow that's a that's a great price that's like great almost price. maybe uh, you know 60% of what some of the manufacturers are selling exactly you know and part of the reason is is we just focus on lenses that's what we do and because we do that and we've refined our technologies over a long period of time uh, we are certainly able to bring the type of savings from that type of research and development to the consumer and the thing I found really remarkable about this we were playing with it off camera beforehand was that um, it's amazingly rectilinear. I mean, there's very, very little distortion it's there. It's corrected out very well. As you said, compared to some of the most expensive lenses in the industry, it's corrected out real well. More importantly, it's optimized for a digital sensor, which is a wafer instead of a flat film plane. Uh, basically, what that means is we're going to achieve the same brightness in the corners and the edges that we do in the center, which is a big problem when you put a film lens on a digital body. You have a lot of fall off to those corners okay. and edges. When you optimize the lens for an APS-C size sensor and also a wafer or chip, you're able to actually reach all of the, the picture receiving parts of the chip, mm -hmm. if you will, at the corners and at the edges just as well in the center. So in pictures with a lot of sky, you're going to see the same amount of brightness from left to right across the sky as well as in the center. You won't have that fall off to dark like you do with some of the other lenses that are in the industry. Well, that's really great. And um, both of these are shipping now? The um... Both of these are shipping now for Nikon and Canon. They both do come with the hoods included in the, in the price of the lens. And then they both have the six-year warranty that we've talked about. Well, that's great. Well, we got lenses from ultra-wide to pretty dang long from Tamron.